And welcome back, guys, to another episode of Starlight Vega. I wonder why it's called that. We're, we're gonna we're gonna find out. In the last part, uh, well, we moved into our our grandfather's old rickety home that has no electricity, and now there's ghosts. <laughs> ghosts. All right, let's keep going. Jeez. All right. If nothing else, I can get this off my chest. Oh, I should probably actually click the window. Melody leads the way, holding the old book in one hand, and her flashlight in the other. Doesn't look like she's actually doing that. I will state, this hand-drawn, um, like, character stills are really, really nice. I, I quite, I quite enjoy them. As I trail behind, we soon approach a sturdy book, or door, book. I'm, I was like staring at Melody's portrait, I'm like, book. <laughs> oh, look, I'm getting entranced by this thing. Uh, we soon approach a sturdy door. That's strange. I don't remember seeing this door earlier today. Did we walk straight past it? This door doesn't match any of the others in the house. And it's pretty ornate and creepy. The closer we get to the door, the more nervous I feel. My heart pounding so violently that I'm pretty sure Melody can hear it. Even the beam from the flashlight is shaky, and, lo and looking at Melody's hand, I can see why. They're trembling almost as much as mine are. We stop outside the, the study, where the door is still shut. Melody looks at me before glancing at the door. How do you know it's a study? If you say that door, if you're, like, I mean, if we're going ghost here, and that door wasn't there before, how are you, how would you be like, you look at that door and you're like, that's a study. I know that's a study. You open it up, it's a bathroom, you know. <laughs> See? I, I was correct. Because it's where you go to study poop. I don't know. Like, you know, like, it's trying to justify. You double down on that crap. <laughs> I've always had this philosophy. As you say something dumb, you double down. You know, like, you can't, you can't backtrack from the dumb moment, so you gotta double down or shut up. It's a great, great philosophy. 10 out of 10. We stop outside the study, where the door is still shut. Melody looks at me before glancing at the door. Here we go. She grabs the doorknob and turns it. It is a study. They were correct. We enter the creepy room. Moonlight filters through the window, but it's still pretty dark. I shine the flashlight around the room. I can't explain why, but something feels off. Wait, so they both have flashlights? Why do I feel so uneasy? We're not going to actually find anything in here. After all, I don't really believe in that superstitious nonsense. What's that? Ah! Melody shines her light over to the bookshelves. Oh, look at the carvings on those books. And that book looks like it's hundreds of years old. They all look like they're hundreds, year, hundreds of years old. Bottles of honeywort, brisbane, hemlock. These are all used in alchemy. What was your grandfather like? I don't know. Mom never really talked about him. I shine my flashlight around the room. There's a podium in front of the desk. It looks ancient. Excuse me. It looks ancient and twisted, but is otherwise uninteresting. Whoa. What does grab my attention, however, is what is resting on top of the podium. What is that? It's so pretty. Melody focuses on a dozen. As is focused. Yeah. Melody focused on a dozen of books around the room. Isn't listening. There's a stone on the podium. Let's see here. Oh, should I touch it or should I pick it up? Hmm. Now, shining purple stones are usually not a good thing. And if this is any indication, now I'm just going to go off on a on a, a giant giant whim here. But whatever is giggling is probably trapped in that stone. So by touching it, I'm probably going to do something bad. 
But I mean, where's our sense of adventure? Like, even though I'm I'm an I'm an off like I'm an observer to the situation, I would totally do this. I would totally pick it up. So let's do it. Let's touch it. Oh. Oh, oh, we're gonna get cutscene. Ah! Ah! White hot light floods the room, stinging my eyes. As it dies, I hear a faint laugh. In place of the gem is a woman with long red hair and bright yellow eyes. She has a tall, full figure and horns? My savior! Ah! The strange horned woman practically jumps on top of me, pulling me into a crushing hug. You freed me! What? What the hell is going on? She picks me off the floor and starts spinning around. I desperately try to squirm away, but I only manage to make her grip even tighter. Ooh, I was trapped in that dreadful stone for so long. It was awful, but you saved me. Let me go. Get, get away from her, you, you, you devil woman. She stiffens before releasing me so fast that I fall on the floor with a loud slap. Oh, ha, devil woman. You better not be talking to me that way. Uh, 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 Melody, don't. Too late. She hits the horn lady on the head with the book. Hard. Ow! Disgusting little human! Uh, Melody, stay away! You've got some nerve. Take this! Whoa! Yeah! Ah! Uh -huh. I'm blinded again by a bright light. I feel a gust of wind rush past me and hear a loud crash. Uh, uh. Arya, are you alright? Pain explodes from the back of my body. I pitch towards the ground, crumbling to the floor. Melody is next to me, grabbing my arm. My unfocused eyes slowly become aware of the demon girl lying on her back in the ruined bookshelf. Arya! Arya! What's wrong? Can't breathe. <clears throat> I'm struggling to draw another uh, to enough air. My back hurts so much. I don't know how much longer I can... Don't tell me. The stone? Uh, damn it! In an instant, the demon lady launches herself across the room, shattering the window as she jumps through it. The pain in my back seems to dissipate immediately. Uh, uh, I can't breathe again. Just in time to hear footsteps in the hall. Mom's woken up. Arya, what is going on in here? And what happened to the window? Uh, this horned lady, this thing, it came out of a stone. A demon attacked us and... Grandpa has the stone, see? Magical spell, and then she... Okay, they're both, they're going crazy here. <laughs> Mom's face turns completely red. That's enough, Arya, for the love of God. You're old, you're old enough to know better, and Melody, I expected far better from you than Arya. But... Not another peep out of either of you until I get this sorted out. Go to your room. Now. I run back to my room as fast as possible. What? What is that? I don't know. You're supposed to be the supernatural expert? What the heck just happened? She clutches the book close to her chest. Is it glowing? All I remember is I held up the book and it released that light. When I looked up, you were both hurt. That pain from before felt like somebody forced hot coal on my back. I don't remember getting hit by anything. And even if I did, why don't I feel anything now? That girl. Where did she come from? She looked more like a woman rather than a girl, to be perfectly honest. But, you know. And just what was she? 
All right. Arya, Arya, wake up. It's the demon lady. <laughs> I bolt out of bed. How did I even get to sleep last night? Was it all just a dream? Wh what? Come quick. Uh, I'm guessing it wasn't a dream. Ugh. It's that demon lady. Arya, that's no way to speak to a guest. What? <laughs> Mom, she has horns. And a tail. Mom is looking at us as if we're totally crazy. It's a glamour uh, to tell... To, to her, I appear as a normal human. I can also alter thoughts and memories. A demonstration. She snaps and twirls her finger around Mom's head, and Mom begins to hum and skip away. Anyway, what's with this demon lady business, hmm? I do happen to have a name. It's Lyria. She peers at me expectantly, but I'm completely struck dumb. And your name is? Uh, don't give her your name! That's how they control your mind! What? You're so annoying and ignorant! Uh, um, please, I, I mean no harm, in fact. I only came to talk. What should I do? Be rude. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, Melody could be right. Yeah? I don't know. Because, like, are we going with Demon, or are we going with Succubus here? Because... That's probably not a good thing, if she's... if she's a Succubi. Ugh. Hmm. Ugh. Uh-huh. You know what? I'm gonna be rude to her. No! Get away! I don't think so. You have something that belongs to me. Arya, let's get out of here. Arya, huh? That's a pretty name. Ugh. Arya, dear, do you remember the stone from earlier? A stone? Does she mean from the podium? I remember touching a purple stone, yes. Well, it just so happens that that, that, that the stone belongs to me, and I need it back. I don't know where it is. I touched it, and then you showed up. Don't be silly. It's right there. She, or, uh, she outstretches her hand, causing a light to emanate from my chest. Whoa! As I thought. But no matter, we can remove it quite easily. Uh, what do you want, want the stone for? Arya, you shouldn't trust her. The sooner I get the stone, the sooner I'm out of your hair. Win-win. Well, what does removing it entail? Just a pinch of magic. Don't worry. Easy peasy. Without waiting for my reply, she stretches out her hand and chants under her breath. I get this sinking feeling. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh! I buckle over again. It feels like someone just poked a hot iron into my ribs. Uh, is it Li Yeah, it's Lyria. Lyria because of, um... Uh, if it was, if there wasn't an eye there, it'd be Lyra, but it's Lyria, is leaning against the railing, trying to hide the fact that she's straining. Oh, ooh, boy. <laughs> okay, minor setback. Minor setback? What, what did you do to her? Uh, shakily, I get back up. The pain wasn't nearly as bad as last time, but it still knocked the wind out of me. Okay, that didn't go as planned. Well then, I guess it's plan B. I'll have to make you mine. Ooh. What? You're nuts. I mean, just what are you? Do you have those... Why do you have those freakish horns? How rude. You've got some nerve speaking to me that way. But why do you have the horns? Are you a demon? Well, not technically. I come from another world. Vega. The more ignorant of you humans would refer to it as the demon realm. Aha! So you are a demon! Another world? Once again, I struggle to free. Uh, I struggle free from her grasp. Well, why are you here in our world? I don't know. 
You've got to be kidding me. One minute, I'm in my room in Vega, and next thing I know, I'm trapped in a stone for 50 years. 50 years? Ah, but I'm so glad the stone got attached to such a cute girl. This girl has a lot, has a lot, has lost a few of her marbles. What does the stone do exactly? It's a life stone. I can't, it, I can't be far from you without feeling repercussions. Same goes for you. What? We're stuck together? That's right. There's no way I'm going to be able to keep up with this girl 24-7. There's got to be a way out of this. Well, there might be. The book. This one. She jabs an indignant finger at Melody. Attacked me with earlier, obviously you held some powerful spells. Perhaps you can take a look, Arya. Winky kissy face. <laughs> Melody is better at that sort of stuff than me, so... Yes, the book could have a spell or something to get the stone out. It's certainly worth a look. Hmm. Well, you two can go look for that, then. What's wrong? Are you afraid of the book, Lyra? Or Lyria, sorry. <laughs> I just call her Lyra, like, out of habit, and I don't know why. Uh, don't be ridiculous! I simply have business to take care of. She suddenly leans in close, tilting her chin up with her finger. But if there's no spell, rest assured, Arya. I'll make good on my promise. How is that supposed to make me assured? Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, she's totally like this game's version of a succubi. <laughs> oh boy. We're dead. We're dead. <laughs> Unless we get the stone out. But a life stone usually means that our lives are connected, right? That's usually how that works. I'm supposed to be helping Melody find books, but I don't even know where to start. What am I looking for again? Any books on runes, magic, demons? Something I could use. It would help if the bindings were in English. Ah, you know, I thought you'd be more excited to meet someone from the other world. Well, I didn't really expect it to be like her. Anyway, you don't actually believe her, do you? Huh? All that stuff about not being able to remember. I guess I do. I mean, you'd think a demon would be less of an airhead? Evil doesn't always take the most obvious forms. She must have been trapped in that stone for a reason, Arya. A bad reason. I stop. Is she right? It's easy to get caught up in Lyria's friendliness and compliments. But she does seem dangerous. Hmm. I think she's alright. I agree. I mean, like, we don't know very much about her. And I mean, obviously, some people, she may actually be telling the truth and she doesn't remember. But it's like, it seems odd that she's trapped in a stone, but she's here. So maybe that has to, like, there's got to be more to that story. So I'm, I'm going to actually agree with Melody here. I think that's... That's probably the best. Yeah, I definitely need to keep my guard up. We have no idea what we're dealing with, after all. That's right. It's important to be cautious in times like these. People have ended up possessed, or worse. Yoo-hoo! Lyria leaps through the broken window, despite it being on the second floor. I missed you so much! Whoa! I duck out of her hug. She pouts. You are gone. You were gone barely 20 minutes. Well, I can't go far without the livestone. Besides, didn't you miss me? Uh, where did you go anyway? S I S E C R E T. Wink. Hey, Runt. Did you find anything yet? My name is Melody. Oh ho! I have your name. Now I can control your mind. Kidding! You believed me for a second there, didn't ya? Hmm. I haven't been able to find anything yet. It's so jumbled and disorganized. I'm amazed you can find anything in this. Well, I do have some basic understanding of runes. 
and there are several parts in English, but whoever wrote them isn't making it easy. Wait a minute. Do you think my grandfather wrote this book? I'm not sure it had any any one single author. Bleh, single author. The book looks like it's at least several centuries old, and there's large changes in handwriting throughout. Hmm. Oh well. I think we'll, we'll we'll learn a little bit more about this this book next time. So take care, guys. Stay frosty. And don't get spooky. I don't know. I gotta. I gotta fix that. I gotta fix it so bad. Ciao.